Hello YouTubes, Reddit Math here, and welcome back. Picking up right where we left off. These two menacing a-holes patrolling right outside. See if there's any other enemies around here that I should be concerned about. Or perhaps we might want to open this shortcut so that when we inevitably die, it's not such a big deal. Cold blood? I'll take it, man. You don't have to ask me twice. Alright, well these guys have split up just a tiny bit. Yeah, nope. Didn't care even a tiny one. Whoa. Oh, yep, too early. Way too early. Oh, and he can punch. I'll admit, the punch was unexpected. Yeah, alright. And at least some blood vials back for our trouble. Curious if I can flip this guy over. Come on, Ragball, don't fail me now. Alright. And his face is... I can't tell. A mask or just like featureless? No, definitely not featureless. Okay. See the little eye holes? Pretty straightforward utilitarian kind of face mask thing. Okay, I can imagine dog and one of these guys would be like the last combination you'd want to fight together. Not like the defensive pose. Like a little late on that one. Oh, and then I was dumb. Come on, come on. Oh! That leap was unexpected. Well, I didn't expect to be picking back up right here, but uh, in my rush back, I uh, did encounter one of those little guys. Uh, so obviously if I had not originally ran up here and then I immediately kind of doubled back into this whole area, uh, I'm at the top of the little barn right now where I encountered the wheelchaired guy from earlier. Um, it looks like there was one of the little, I don't know what to call them. Actually, I haven't gotten a great look at them. Ew. It's got a f face there, and there, and there, and... Yeah. I think I preferred it when they were crystal lizards. Um, that was a little bit, uh, easier on my psyche, I do believe. Oh. Wow. All right. You know, it's funny. Um, when I'm running back to these areas after I've died, I almost feel like I'm good at the game. You would be surprised how much of your concentration is taken away just by randomly narrating things to people on the internet. Uh, like, my parry timing suddenly get a whole lot better, my ability to dodge and everything is just like, oh yeah, uh, this is a Souls game. I have played this before. I know what I am doing compared to the me on the internet version that is uh, sometimes quite terrible. Now, uh, oh, yeah, like that, for instance. Because the me playing by himself never has to muse out loud about what is going on. Now, you 
may notice I didn't take the shortcut that I unlocked. And I noticed that too. I'm not quite sure how I missed it. Um, but coming back, I instead rolled, rode the little uh, elevator up and then uh, just came around here. So I think the second shortcut I've unlocked might be between the lantern, or sorry, yeah, between like where the, the first shortcut and the second, no, let me, let me restart that. This might be between where that first shortcut gets you, yeah, it is, okay, because the, the other shortcut is before this, but then it takes you to a point after that. Okay, so if I want to get back here quickly, I would need to ignore the first shortcut and just take that one. Now, uh, when I died here, I was saying, you know, I was, I was quite surprised by the leaping attack this guy did, but I'm also big enough to admit I probably should have died before that. Uh, his, like, one-two combo left me with the tiniest amount of health. There we go. And... One and done. Okay. And Blood Vial's back for my trouble. Now, this time I did knock the little Molotov lady off uh, somewhere over there to the right. So I should be careful about that. Nice. You know, uh... I had mentioned it in the Gascoigne fight, but it hasn't really come up much since then. If you can trade... Oh no, that's a lot of dogs. Two there and two more patrolling. Okay. Um, I was going to say, if you can trade with your opponent... Oh, two more down there. Okay. If you trade for a parry so that your enemy is stunned and you are hit, you can very easily like gain back all of your lost HP off of the repost. So that's quite nice. Uh, that was something I kind of used and abused in a boss fight it hasn't come up much since then. Haven't had a lot of opportunity to use it since then, I guess. Nope, shooting the ledge. Eh, it doesn't do enough to make it worth it. Alright. I'm not too terribly worried about Quicksilver Bullets. I've more or less had a surplus of them the entire game. It's only really been healing vials as a consumable that I've run dry of. Another thing I need to get more accustomed to, um, when I take damage and then shortly after I kill an opponent, you can kind of overswing a bit in order to get more health back. Uh, even though the opponent's dead, it's not that your two health bars are connected in any way. You just swinging through his dying corpse still regains HP, which is Hear some wailing coming from inside that house, I believe. Um, this is a habit that I sort of got out of, you know, like in Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1. Oh, there would be times where. Oh no. Let's pull back here. Yep, yep. We're gonna run down to here, see how many of them will follow us. At the very least, the big guy is pretty slow. Um, in Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1, it was not uncommon for me to like keep swinging, uh, even though something had died. The kind of derogatorily referred to as R1 spam sort of attack patterns. Uh, Dark Souls 2 punished that because of the way weapon durability was done. 
specifically because the thing that damaged the durability more than anything were corpses. And so if after you killed something, you then swung at it again, you would take like five times more damage to your weapon than just a normal attack would be doing. Maybe it wasn't the house. Or like maybe the, I can't quite remember. Maybe the big guy was hiding back here. Tempering blood gemstone, but only rareness one. So, oh no, there was only one of them. It didn't, doesn't show the rareness when you pick it up. So, not even entirely sure which one that was. Okay. Haven't really formed an opinion yet on the whole gemstone socketing thing. Like, jury's still out on what I think of it in comparison to the weapon upgrade uh, paths and everything that have appeared in previous games. Alright, before we do that, we're going to head the other way. Because, again, typical RPG fashion, that appears to be maybe the right way to go. Whereas, yeah. And that guy's ragdolling effect still twitching out makes me think there's an enemy down here, like every time I come back. Uh, and anyway, typical RPG or maybe just video game fashion. Figure out which way is the right way to go. Check out all the other ways to make sure you don't miss any items. And then come back to the right way to actually progress further in the game. Alright. Now this is the area that we could see from up on high earlier. Uh, this feels super suspicious, doesn't it? What were you doing out here? That's just evil. A rune called Lake, huh? Alright, let's get off the precipitous ledge there and then we'll check that out. Lake, one of the lake runes, increases defense. A carol rune that transcribes in human soul or in human sounds, this transcription of the great ones in human voices ripples like a watery reflection. This rune means lake, and those who memorize it enjoy reduced physical damage. Great volumes of water serve as a bulwark guarding sleep, and an augur of the eldritch truth. Overcome this hindrance and seek what is yours. Hmm. Letting that sink in for just a moment. I'm getting sort of a, uh, like, very Cthulhu vibe from a lot of stuff that's going on here. You know, the great old ones being the obvious reference. But even some of the, uh, that crazy squid-faced man that we saw. Cathedral Ward. Uh, the kind of temples that we've seen to some very eldritch abomination style gods. And the idea of the water guarding something that maybe something terrible could be sleeping beneath the water. Oh, oh and another one of those guys. Come on. Oh, gotcha. Man, I, uh... Gotten a lot of these in this area. Yeah, I've already got 11. So, can definitely upgrade my weapon again. I've also got 34,000 blood echoes. Wow. And now we're 
heading down to find out what lives in the basement? Hmm. Uh, this creeps me out a bit. Is that just a statue over there? Oh yeah, it's just like that. I'm getting a very bad vibe from this place. Like a very... It might be worthwhile for me to head back and spin these Blood Echoes vibe from this place. Which I think I'm going to do really quickly and just join you guys on the other side. And to those of you who think I'm a coward for turning back, I know. I think I'm a coward for turning back. The 34,000 Echoes? I don't think I've ever had that many. Like, I could buy 58 Blood Vials and just never long for Blood Vials ever again. The other thing I'm kind of thinking about is this stuff. Hmm. Let's go ahead and grab this entire set just to... Check it out. Oh, and I'd still be 2,000 short. Well, let's do it anyway. Maybe not a great use of the blood echoes, but, you know. What else are you going to do with them? Level up? Improve your character? No. We're here to play Fashion Souls. It's okay. Yeah, a little overkill. We've examined these items before, but uh, we're just going to find out what they look like. Oh man, they're like worse in every way. Uh, except versus blunt. Well, that one's better against thrust and arcane. Just kind of evens out everything. So I was carrying, or was wearing the, well, that's kind of cool. I was wearing the charred items, which uh, were primarily good against fire. Yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of neat. Um, probably not going to be the thing for me. Uh, I like the tool belt again. Some vials there on his right, and then the uh, like little maybe excavating tools on the left pouch. It's kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and swap back into our work clothes, though. Um, Hunter's garb is real good. Stuff's for sorry. It's actually kind of go together pretty well. That's just straight Yarnum Hunter. I think it's this one. feel about those big bulky gloves you got there. Ah, so getting used to the menu. Alright. No. No. <laughs> Alright. We'll go with that. With a little hooded look for now. Alright, and after that brief respite for Fashion Souls, we'll go ahead and warp back and figure out what is down there. And welcome back.
uh, just basically practiced my speed running strats. Uh, only had to deal with a handful of enemies that actually wanted to follow me into this area. And then we'll go ahead and check it out. Corpses. I really just don't like how much the ambient sound. Oh god. The Witch of Hemwick. The what now? Ooh, you are gnarly looking. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that stung. Jeez. Okay, lady. Um, you are apparently not the Witch of Hemwick. What is up with that? Okay. I'm really confused right now. Whoa. What are you, what is going on there? Ah, you are the Witch of Hemwick. And you're summoning things. Okay, okay, I get it now. So... Oh! And she got over here real quick. Ah, she like teleports around. Oh, come on. Summons these guys, okay. Like, sometimes she's invisible? She Does she teleport, or does she just turn invisible? She has to teleport. There's no way. What was... Was she even over here? Oh, come on. I thought the red signified that she was in an area. Oh, is that her? Oh, no, she's just summoning two of them now. Okay. Then, where is the witch herself? I can care less about you guys. You're just gonna keep coming and I know it. I don't know if she's invisible. Yeah, okay. Maybe invisible until I get close to her? I think that's what's going on. Maybe if I just do a quick sprint around, I'll spot her again. Oh, man, she appeared right in front of me. Okay. Yeah, she's got it. Okay. Oh, and I saw a puff over there. Okay, okay. I'm getting it. I'm totally getting it. And I saw a puff over there. Oh, oh, yep. You can F right off, little sickle-wielding thing. Okay. Yeah, I figure it was worth it to detour for just a moment to fight that thing. There she is. Okay, so she's not invisible when she teleports. She's still visible for a second there. Yep. What? Oh, uh, there's a second health bar now? Is there another witch? There's another witch. And there she is. Okay. At least... I hope there's only a second witch. I hope this doesn't, like, repeat itself. Oh, oh no. Not good. She appeared behind me. 
and the owie. Okay, let's get out of there and not fight three of them at once. Oh no, and then this one's back. Oh, terrible things are happening. Whoa, and is there a third one up here? I don't know what's going on. Save me, internets. Oh, no. Not good. Not... Oh, not good even a little bit. Oh. Oh, that's terrifying. Please stop doing whatever you're doing right now. Come on. Come on. Ah! Uh, couldn't get out of it. Okay. Well... I think we're going to have to hold off on retrying that one for next time. Hopefully I can figure out what's going on. There's like a little bit of a puzzle boss, it seems like. Um, there's at least two of them. I think the first one didn't appear until the second one was dead, but then after killing the first one, the second one revived it later. So maybe it's just cycles of the boss fight I've got to go through? Not really sure. Um, anyway, we'll find that all out next time. I uh, do thank you guys for joining me. Um, I hope you're having as much fun as I am, and I will see you guys next time.